a workout log created just for Christians? I'm going to be reviewing it today on this video. Hey everybody, I'm Tyler, your Christian personal trainer, and here at 517 Fitness, I'm all about helping you lose weight and gain faith. And one of the best ways to lose weight is to track how you are doing it. And I came across this on a random Amazon a search through the search bar. It is the Christian Athlete Training Journal. Basically, it's a training journal for you, and it's 12 weeks long. It's probably the thing that I've been using the most lately. I've really enjoying it uh, for a lot of reasons, and I'll go through them. So every day looks the same. You start off with uh, a little thank you gratitude area. I've got a spot for three things. And every morning it's good just to uh, take a second and thank God for something. In this case, there's an area for three. Uh, I try and mix it up. Uh, I did find at the beginning I came into a rut where I was just only thankful for my wife, my daughter, and my son. Uh, so I then try and mix it up every week, every day, and think of something else I'm grateful for rather than just the three of them over and over again. Right next to that has a Bible verse. Every day is a different verse, which I personally really like uh, because A, it keeps reaffirming reading of the Bible and just how powerful that book is. But then so often I find these journals for entrepreneurs or just for anybody and they have a lot of quotes or tips and those types of things in these areas. And sadly, I don't agree with some of them or the person. It's a weird case. And so I like that there's a Bible verse right there to kind of motivate me through the day. The next area is uh, the goals of the day. Usually in that area, it's one or it's two lines. I kind of get a big picture for the day. Like usually I've got a video I want to record or I want to knock out writing five scripts for these videos. So I kind of write my main goal there. But then underneath it, there's a spot for you to write your workout. And then through the day on the other part of it, it shows how you're eating. So you can write exactly what you're eating through the day. And at the bottom of the very first page for your day, it then you can track what you did to recover after your workout, how much water you've drank through the day, and how many hours of sleep you are getting. The second page of the two pages for every day, so this is page one, page two, my Vanna White, my, my best Vanna White. Um, the second page is more for you. Um, the first page tends to be more tracking. The second page is more thought provoking. In this, it asks you four questions up at the top, how you, your body felt, uh, what you can improve, how I got better today, and what to pray for. All four great questions that you know I like to, tr uh, because of this, I actually now like to track and think about and all of that stuff. Then underneath that is just a bunch of lines. This is where I pretty much write my to-do list for the day. Um, and I just go to town. List, you know, I'll divide it into sections if I have to. But I write my list there and if something like really impactful happens, I'll make a note of it on that day as well. Then the cool thing here is I kind of talked about it earlier that it was something I didn't like on other planners but very last thing on the second page is there's a quote from an athlete it's not that I am not a fan of them I like that this brings in the Bible before it brings in other people uh, so that's something that is really uh, impactful even if you got rid of the Bible verses and it was just I don't, I can't do that with my hand, but just the athlete training journal. I really like how this is laid out. There's no dead area. So often when I get these journals or you know, planners and those things, there's always a section I don't use. This one, 
I'm using everything and I really am enjoying it. Um, it's created by Corey, uh, Corey Carter, and I'm pretty sure that's her name. I'm the worst. I feel bad with names because nowadays it seems like people say, get rid of all of that, Mark. So the Christian Athlete Training Journal is actually created also by an athlete. Corey Carter, who is a Stanford hurdler, in her bio she runs and she does the hurdles. I don't come from the world of running, so hopefully that is not an offensive term. A hurdler? She does the hurdles, uh, which I don't have the rhythm for. I feel like I would hurt myself if I ever tried to jump over a hurdle. So I've actually never done it. I might need to try that. Um, so it's it's actually really cool that an athlete, which makes sense to why it's so good, is an athlete created. So often these journals are created by just people that have an idea and they go with it. I would highly suggest picking this up. My only criticism of this, and it's me just nitpicking, it's a little big. It's... It's a little bit big, but in the big realm of things, it's not, like, ginormous. Um, but I, I am partial to smaller journals, but that's just me. If you want to pick this up, there's a link down in the description uh, so you can pick it up off of Amazon. If you are keeping track of your workouts, your eating, um, trying to better yourself every day, and you want you want some faith motivation um, the Christian athlete training journal I couldn't do it better myself this is the exact type of journal if I was gonna create one I would have created this. so this will become a staple in my uh, journaling and tracking of my health uh, so yeah you should uh, pick it up yourself All right, guys, if you like these types of reviews, go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well. Uh, that way you don't miss any of these reviews or videos. Uh, I'm always here helping you guys lose weight and gain faith. God bless, finish strong, and I will see you in the next video.